Impulse Tour, Distance Plus, Taylor Mades, Callaway Warbird, Titleist Pro V1, our golf ball cutter here. We have shoebox, spray paint, and buckle your freaking seat belts because this hole's over the water. That ball does not feel good. Can't wait to cut these open and see what's going on inside the ball. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. Oh, this is gonna be such a tough decision when it comes down to the final two. Welcome back. You're probably wondering, Matt, why are you making out with some boxes? Well, I'll tell you why. Okay, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes of balls. That's the most I've ever spent on golf balls in my life. Maybe I'll go to a store and just buy every single golf ball that I see. But essentially, we're gonna be using all these golf balls in a crazy challenge today where I will not know the names of any of them. And I gotta go try and play a March Madness bracket with golf balls and figure out which ball I love the best without knowing what it is, just so that there's no, oh, well, this is a Pro V, it's obviously gonna be the best, and I get that weird thing in my head. So, not gonna know anything. The noodle might win this, you never know. This is gonna be quite the insane video, and hopefully you guys are ready for it. Why am I in the trunk? Doesn't matter, shut your mouth up. I'm not like everybody else. I'm not gonna do a freaking intro on a golf course. Maybe I'll be in a trunk, right? Maybe I'll get shut in the trunk. Cameron, don't you dare. Let's get right involved in this video. Subscribe now, you guys, on the way to 150,000 subscribers. I'm psyched we're on the way to a million subscribers. We're not stopping until we get there. Subscribe now, leave a like, leave a dislike. Let me know what you guys are loving, let me know what you're hating. Let's get back to the video, peace. 275 bench right there, boys. Look at how my shoulder just like, you see how it indents? Like it literally indents. Okay, when you're working out, working to be a bodybuilder, you'll you'll look at them and they'll, they'll literally easily be able to define like what's what. You'll see the rear delt, right? You'll see the long head of the tricep, right? You'll see everything. You'll see their forearm muscles bigger than your body. Like obviously I have a little bit right here, but they're like, you know, it's insane. So anyway, like I explained in the intro, I've never done this kind of video before. As you guys know, Rick Shields, he's like a he's a club reviewer. I think he does ball reviews. I'm not quite sure, but he just reviews. He's just the review man. He's a stud, and he obviously does some challenges every now and then too. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. Obviously, from a, a lesser man than Rick, it's just going to be my opinion as to what balls I like the best, which ones fly the best in my opinion, which ones have the most spin, which ones don't have good spin, those sorts of things. And I'm not just going to be coming out and buying the the tailor made TP5s and and the Pro V1s and then the good Callaways. Like I'm going to be giving you a range a different variety of different balls and also at the end we're gonna be cutting open some of the balls just to show you exactly what it looks like inside because I think that's kind of important for some of you you guys sometimes you don't take it upon yourself to cut the ball open I don't either I really don't care I just read the box and it says it's got five layers you're an idiot I'm an idiot those sorts of things so I'm gonna actually be cutting the balls open for you showing you what's inside the golf ball what it's made out of sometimes I don't even know what it's made out of like I said I just read the box and then I think what Cameron said he's gonna be doing is he's gonna spray paint each ball which I'll explain a little more detail in the course so I can't tell what is what because I think we get this notion in our heads as golfers that we find like TP5 and we see the name and we're like it's a good golf ball Callaway triple track it's a good golf ball right it's simple but when it's canceled out and you can't see the name and you just go strictly off of feel and what feels the best for you then you can open the golf camera and be like okay that was the this golf ball that was this golf ball so it'll help me figure out what ball I like the best without just looking at the name and buying it so we're gonna start here so I'm gonna need to get in eight packages of golf balls okay tailor-made distance plus ultra premium golf balls okay never heard heard of this golf ball the noodle and easy distance and then next we're getting into the little little thicker stuff here okay Shrixen's the Q star we're gonna be getting a set of those as well hey guys. yeah all right so we got stopped by a young lady she said we're not allowed to film an Academy which is totally fine now we're headed to Lowe's you're probably thinking what am I doing at Lowe's I'll tell you what I'm doing at Lowe's okay we're about to go get a ball cutter it's a pipe cutter in real life RIL okay but uh, we're gonna go get a pipe cutter and we're also gonna go get some spray paint so that we can spray paint the balls so that I can take my best guess as to what exactly that I'm hitting I'm super stoked let's get in here I want to spray paint my car this color <laughs> Let's not talk about this to anyone. Shake my head if you're with me. Yes, all the fans. Yes, okay. Fusion all-in-one paint premiere. We're gonna use this. We're gonna spray paint the balls. It's matte black, so it's kind of a cool co color. And then that way I won't know what the golf balls are. And then obviously Cameron got the, the pipe cutter as well. So we will be doing that as well. We'll see at the course. <laughs> Very cold, huh? Very cold. So essentially, we've made it to the golf course. Waters Creek. I'm gonna go away. He's gonna spray paint him. He's gonna kind of talk to you guys just a little bit. Spray paint the Pro V, the Taylor made all of them, and then obviously he'll tell you guys. So you guys will know what I'm hitting. I will not. And that's pretty much what it is. We're gonna do like the bracket thing, which we'll try and explain once we get to the tee box. Kind of like the March Madness thing. So hopefully you guys are ready for this. I'm super excited. Really, really ready to see which balls I actually like the best. And you never know. So <laughs> Cameron is gonna be a beast. Okay, guys. 
There goes Matt. Like Matt said, we're doing a March Madness style bracket. I'm gonna pick which ball goes where, and basically I'm gonna spray paint all the balls with this sweet matte black spray paint. Hopefully it looks good. Might look terrible, we're gonna find out. Uh, and then I'm gonna mark them. It was at this moment that he knew. And wow, I just realized our Sharpie is black and our balls are gonna be black. So, we might have to go get a different Sharpie. Bam, we have our eight balls, okay. Noodle, Shiction, Impulse Tour, Distance Plus, TaylorMade's, Callaway Warbird, Titleist Pro V1, TaylorMade TP5, and our Callaway Triple Track ERC Soft. Matt doesn't know this yet, but I have a secret ball. All right, check this out. Boom, I have a Top Golf ball here. Okay, so I'm gonna throw the Top Golf ball in the mix, mess them up a little bit, and we'll see what happens. Let's get to it. All right guys, update on the ball situation. My hand is covered in spray paint, but they have to dry for a little bit. So they're currently drying, just checked on them. They are not dry yet, so this should take about 20 minutes or so to get dry. Yeah, we're wait on these. So a little, you know, whatever, a little three years later thing in here. And uh, yeah, we'll be good. All right guys, check it out. Matt is right here. He saw the list. I did not protect it well enough. He saw the list. I gotta change the numbers. I'm gonna do a little scratch scratch. I don't trust him. This has to be unbiased. Experiment. A man. Anyways, here's the new list. All right, let me show you guys. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> the black Sharpie did not work, so we had to go to the store, pick up the metallic silver. Stop yelling! Matt's rushing me. You don't rush perfection. Let's do this. Yo, all right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, unfortunately, during this edit, I have run into some technical difficulties. The footage for holes number one and two corrupted. Can't get them to play back. Can't even find them. Actually, Matt deleted them. Uh, rip, I know, right? Get your stuff together, my brother. Anyway, hole number one, Matt hit balls one and five. Liked five much better. Number one, kick one out, advance number five. On hole number two, he hit balls number six and nine. Ended up liking six much better, kicked nine off. So, let's get on with the rest of this video. Hope you enjoy. Five. Okay, we're now into the right side of the bracket. We've got number five and number three coming up right here, right now. Let's see what he picks. I'm not gonna lie to you, I would've played both six and I would've played both nine. On the first hole, I think I would've played number one. It felt really good, so. Even though I played terrible, but let's see what happens. Number three for first, this is a longer hole. Whoa. That's it. Oh. Felt pretty good though. This is number five. A little short. Yeah. I kind of chunked that one, unfortunately. I really didn't give that one the best run. That kind of makes me mad, but. Okay, Matt's here, just short of the green with ball number five. Hopefully I can get a good feel with this shorter chip. Oh, that felt pretty good. That felt pretty good, baby. Spun and stuck. Spun and stayed. Number three here for Matt, just to the right and a little far. Oh, I caught that so thin. The grass is very thin there. I, I was in a very tight lie. I didn't hit that very well, but again, the chip kind of irrelevant, except for the full swing. It's all about the putting. Oh, that felt heavy. That did not feel good. That ball does not feel good. Like I hit that center of the club and that was not good. Yeah, that one felt a lot better. It's definitely a five for me. Can't wait to cut these open and see what's going on inside the ball. Matt went with ball number five on the last hole. So we're on to the last round of the Elite Eight. Ball number four versus ball number seven. Matt's got him out right now. Let's see who's moving into the final four. Number seven. Where did that go? Did you see that? No. Cool. I think it's on the front of the green. Here comes number four. four. Ah, good left. I didn't see where that one went if I'm being, ah, oh, freaking freak. Number four on the hill. This is a tough shot, guys. Look at that. Camera doesn't do it justice, but this is very downhill. Oh, 
Oh, I could have been aiming way up there. That's insane. Not, Not too bad out of the rough. Not too bad. All right, this one had some spin, surprisingly, in the fairway. So I feel like it would have spun quite a bit on the green. Number seven. Matt loves to judge the balls based off the putts. Oh. Felt good. That felt really good. I should honestly be doing this on all the holes, just kind of putting around and getting a good feel for the balls. No, this is part of the fun. It's part of the fun. You only get a certain amount of shots to figure it out. Oh my goodness, that is so good. I hit that way short, but that... Another tough decision. That felt so good. Ah, oh, I hate that. Look, this is going in. I already know. See, I already know that's going in. Oh my goodness. I gotta put, I gotta put them both. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Look at how close those are together. I think I'm gonna have to go with this one. Yeah. Number four it is. Matt picked number four. That wraps up the Elite Eight. We are now on to the first match of the Final Four. Starting to get serious, you guys. I hope you're sitting down. I hope you got your popcorn, candy, some snacks, some chips, and buckle your freaking seat belts because this hole's over the water. First up, we have ball number one and ball number six. It is a hole over this water. It's gonna be a good one. Lock in and get ready. All right, number six. Felt good. Number one. That felt good too. Oh! Two darts, baby! Dude, both of those feel so good. Oh, this is gonna be such a tough decision when it comes down to the final two. Number six. All right, number six. I remember when I did six and nine on number two, so I really love number six. It's all about the putting stroke. Oh, like that. that was a good shot. That was a good shot. What a shot! Dude, six might be a winner. I really like six. That felt really good, man. Oh my goodness, that felt so good too. Both those putts were nice. I don't know. Something about six just hit different. That felt good. What are these six and one? Six and one. <sighs> That's so tough because I I don't know. I I'm gonna have to go with six. Something hit different about six today. Look at this dude. Matt just picked number six. Is moving on to the final round. Next up, we have number five and number four on the right side of the bracket for the final four. Let's see how he does. You can look at my club face here and see that not too bad, to be honest. It's not the worst, so. Who needs foot spray when you have spray paint? That's right, four. I feel like that's gonna sit. Oh, that's way long. Felt good though, gosh darn it. Number five. Yeah, once I it's once I good. get dialed in on that, like even that one that I hit long, like it was in the center of the club face somewhere here. So I haven't been hitting the ball, like the striking of my balls. <laughs> The ball striking is not bad by me. It's always been direction. It's always been like my distances. So if anything on the range that I gotta work on, it's that. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. That was just a terrible chip. Feels good. That feels good. It's gonna come down to the putting. I don't know about that. That's a little movement in there. That felt good off the stick. Oh, that felt good too. Gosh, dang it. I hate it when they both feel good because now I don't know how to choose. I like five. Five it is. I like five. Five and six are in the finals. Again, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far. I know it's kind of an interesting video. It's definitely different. I'm trying to switch up content, trying to do some different stuff. The insane ball review. Sounds pretty stupid, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. Five and six are in the finals. I don't know what any of the balls are. I can't wait to cut them open and see what's going on inside. Subscribe now, you guys are on the way to 150,000 subscribers. I'm psyched we're on the way to a million subscribers. We're not stopping until we get there. Subscribe now, leave a like, leave a dislike. Let me know what you guys are loving. Let me know what you're hating. Let's get back to the video, peace. That's it, we're here. We're back to hole number one with the final round. Ball number six versus ball number five. <sighs> Woo! It's getting serious, it's getting heated. The decisions are getting tougher for the man himself. Matt, start your pants. He's gonna have to make a tough call here and pick the best ball out of the two, and I think you guys are gonna be surprised. All right, ball number six. Matt is up, we're back on hole number one. This is the final two, the final round. What you guys have been waiting for. Hope you're still here. Hope you stuck around. If you didn't, you freaking suck. Ah, 
little spot, short. Dude, that's spun a lot though. A lot of spin on number six. Number five. Might go in the hole. Oh. Just on the back, right at the stick. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I don't know. This is this is gonna be one of the toughest decisions I've ever had to make. I've had to make a lot of tough decisions. You know, this morning I was like McDonald's, Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, obviously. <laughs> Some tough decisions I've made in my life. Both of them feel very consistent off the club face. I hit this one short. That one a little long. Both feel very consistent. The putting feels very good for both of these. So just gonna come down to putting again. Gosh, man, that was a bad chip. Gosh, that's a pure roll. Dude, that feels so good. Oh, I kind of came back to that. Dude, that one felt so good. Dude, this is so tough. It's coming out of the wire. This is the toughest decision I've ever had to make. Pure. I mean, pure. Dude, I'm going to... I gotta give it to five. Number five, but six, I'm telling you, that's a close, close second. I really like the ball. I really like both of them, but I think I'm gonna give it to number five. We had a slight issue. We lost the special ball, but I found it. Maybe Matt found it, but that doesn't matter because Matt has picked number five. That's the ball he chose as the best. So we're gonna pit the special ball, which he has no idea what it is, up against number five and see what he picks. Number five first. A little off the backside. Not too bad. Well, it's on the green. stupid special ball. I don't know what this is. Number eight. It looks like a piece of tin foil. Huh? A little short. It literally did not go anywhere. All right, number eight, second shot. The special ball. Oh! Dude, I like number eight. Yo, eight might be a winner, winner. It's all about the putting, though. I, mean, I, I can't judge it on a one-foot putt, though. Wait, one foot? Wow, magically went over here. It's a camera trick. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that, that did not sound good. It sounded like a little top flat XL. Oh, then you got pure five. Go in. Oh, you got pure five. This thing sounds like garbage. Okay. Sounds, sounds like a hollow rock, but I think I'm gonna have to give it to number eight. I mean, honestly, you know, I think number eight's a winner. It kind of performed. Shut up, donkey. Let's go cut the balls open and see what's up. Matt did not like number eight, as expected, I would think. I don't know, maybe he'll think differently when we cut them open. So we've made it where we're gonna cut the balls and see what's going on inside. Since he knows what the balls are, he is gonna tell me from the worst to the best, which ones to cut first, basically how it's gonna go. Now, should we cut the number eight, the special ball first? Yes, we should. Holy, this is hard to cut. <laughs> is that a chip? That's a chip. Is this a top flight ball or a top golf ball? That's a literal chip inside of a golf ball. Gosh, that's hard to See? cut. See, you cut right through the chip. I heard it. Look at that. That's a chip. That's a top golf ball right there. I know it is. It has to be. All top golf balls, they have like a little chip in them so that you can tell like the distance and stuff, right? People in the comments let me know if that's right. But should I try and guess the balls? Yeah. Okay. What's next? We'll go through all the ones that lost on the uh, Elite Eight. Ball number two, ball which number is going two. to be... See, that's a smoother cut. So this is a three-layered golf ball. It looks like that. So you can see there's three layers, the white, the brown, and then the little pink. I'm going to guess that it's either the TaylorMade Distance Plus or that Ultra Premium golf ball we got. The Ultra Premium and ball. That's the ball. Yes! Next up, let's cut number number nine. Number nine. So this was a tough decision on number hole number two when I went up against number six. Pink again. Huh? I love the feel of this golf ball. Like, I actually loved it. Is this a noodle? This is a noodle. Oh my gosh, my guessing is honestly insane. What's next? Let's go with number seven. I think I like number seven, I don't remember. Number seven. Number seven went up against number four. Huh? Blue? Hold on, whoa. Let me see the other half. Look at the royal blue, my I guy. I like it, I like it. So I'm gonna have to guess this is the TaylorMade Distance Plus. TaylorMade Distance Plus. You're a good guesser. My guessing is honestly really close. Next, we got one, five, four. Uh, three. This is a good ball. Ooh, yeah. Well, maybe. Huh? We got some. Oh, that smells weird. I don't know what this, uh, it's only two-layer golf ball. Speckled. Is this the Warbird? This is the Warbird. 
Man, my guessing is good. I like number three though. I like number three. I remember I like I liked it. Next up is a our final four loser is number four. I think I like number four. Who did number four go up against? Number four went up against number five, which would eventually go on to win. Another two-layered golf ball. How many two-layered golf balls did we get? It's another two-layered golf ball. I is this a Shrixen? It is the Shrixen. Q Star Tour. I literally thought that was three. Okay, what's next? Next up is the other Final Four loser, number one. I think I like number one. What is this? I see three layers here. Three layers. Is this the the other Callaway one? ERC Soft? Yeah. No, this is a Pro V1. Oh my goodness. The Pro V1 did not make it. Wow, I can't believe I didn't Final like four. the Pro V. Number six and number five left. You're running out of options on what they could be. Yeah, I only have the TaylorMade left and the, uh, this is another three layered golf ball, so it can't be the TaylorMade, because TaylorMade has five layers. Callaway ERC Soft. ERC Soft, so that means that this is the TP5. I've never cut one into one of these. Make sure it's center. Oh my gosh, this is the hardest one to cut. Oh my gosh! You guys, one, two, three, four, and five. Yo, oh, it smells terrific. I always knew I loved TaylorMade balls, man. It felt the best off the stick. The putting felt the purest. I don't think I went over par with this ball. I don't remember, but that that is amazing. Five layered golf ball. The Pro V, you guys, is only three layers. ERC Callaway's three layers as well. This ball, whatever the pink one is, is also three layers. That's the ultra premium. Yeah, that's the that's ultra- $12 ball. This is a $12 golf ball, you guys. And it's got three layers, just like a Pro-V, so, and a Callaway. I mean, look at this, the design of this one is just so much better. I know. That was insane. I finally got to see the inside of a Pro-V and a Callaway and the TP5, the TaylorMade, my favorite ball that I've told many of you that I love. And just like that, it got into the finals. I had no idea any of the ball names. I didn't know anything. I didn't even know what number eight was. I honestly thought it was a top flight XL and then I saw the chip and I'm like, that's that's a top flight golf ball. So quite the insane video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. I'm losing my voice because I've been talking so much today. We filmed two videos, so hopefully you did enjoy. That was a lot of fun. Give me some more cool ideas like this. Me and Cameron kind of tag team this one and and came up with this cool crazy idea and then uh, obviously the 76 degree wedge which was just an insane video so love you guys gonna ch keep trying to be creative Cameron's gonna keep helping me with that go subscribe to Cameron's channel it has nothing to do with golf and I'm sure you're gonna want to watch something besides golf since you see golf so much you're gonna turn into a golf ball some cool fitness stuff he gives you some of the best advice you can get go subscribe to both of us we're out there killing it go check out MC squared if you want to learn how to get fit the proper way with no BS so love you guys and peace the freak out